What is happening YouTube? It's Mr. Chill out here and the past week of my life has been taken over by Halo Wars 2. So I thought I'd make a quick tips video for the online multiplayer but more specifically Stronghold. Cue the intro. For those of you that may not have had the pleasures of playing Stronghold yet, here's a little intro to the game type and what it's all about. You have unlimited funds, free upgrades, upgrades, big armies and basically all out carnage. The aim of the game is simple, your team has to hold more strongholds than your enemies by the end of a 15 minute time limit or if you completely beast the game and destroy your enemies main bases you can pick up the big W or you could get destroyed yourself. This game type is extremely fast paced and very tactical even though it looks like it's complete mayhem most of the time. Fitting with the fast paced game, here is my fast paced tips for becoming the ultimate stronghold warrior. Also it's good to know that each stronghold controlled allows a population bonus for your team and we all know that there's strength in numbers. My tips are set into two phases, you have the early game and then the later game. So first up is phase one, when you start the game you want to start spamming infantry as as soon as you can. I tend to spam either Grunt or Marines as these are the quickest to build and the most all round units at the early stages of the game. Immediately I build more units out of my main base and I change the rally point to the third nearest stronghold so that my units will make their way there without me having to deal with them every time they come out. The first lot of infantry you start the game with I send straight to the nearest stronghold to my base to pick up another spawn point. As soon as my first team reaches the second base I build it and as soon as it's built I spam the the build button and change the rally point to where my third base will be which by now my next wave of infantry which I built at the beginning of the game should be there and I should be able to build another base. Here I do the same again and I spam infantry while selecting all units to go and confront one of the enemies either at their second base or at a contested point. I basically continuously make sure that my army is filled up with fresh units to stand up against the enemy's advances and hopefully my team are doing a similar sort of tactic on their sides so that all of us have got all fronts covered and this is how you get the best foothold in the early game and how you set up in the early game gives you a better chance of winning in the later game. During doing all of this I tend to set up my bases for phase 2 which consists of creating plenty of air pads to spam aircraft once I have the HQ level 2 upgrade unlocked and this unlocks at the 12 minute mark which brings in phase 2. Now phase 2 much like phase 1 consists around a lot of spamming. What tends to happen is as soon as the enemies hit HQ2 they'll start to create either air support or ground support in the form of tanks or heavier units so your infantry tends to die out quite quickly after this but this is where phase 2 comes into its own because as soon as HQ2 is unlocked I start to produce as much air support as I can. I usually have between 3 to 4 air pads on my main base and every other base I have at least one. This allows me to create a big army quickly and continuously to attack your enemy pushing them back. As you already have your rally points set to your most forward base it allows you a quick click 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 of spamming your units and it allows you a lot more time to micromanage your army in the battles that they're in. This tactic tends to push the enemy back to their main base quite quickly and allowing your team to get an even better foothold in the game. Even if your main army is destroyed, if you keep on top of building your units and micromanaging the battles, your enemy will think they've pushed you back far enough and you've got nothing left, but they're met with your unrelenting army. Also, the higher up the HQ level becomes, the more powerful your units become so they become even more formidable for your enemies. I have noticed that the enemy tends to try and spam anti-air units, but without a quick enough build strategy like the one I use, you should be able to maintain a destructive pass throughout the game. Also, this build will take down ultimate units quite effectively, which will damage their morale and also leave them with no units. Don't forget to use your leader powers to give you advantages in your battle, and use a variety of air units to give you a better all-rounded army. Anyway, that is it for my speed tactics for Stronghold. I hope you enjoyed the video and you've learned some new tactics to help you better your online game. If you feel I have missed out on any other tactics that could be used in this scenario, then please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all my new content. Thanks for watching and until next time, laters.